Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Do you not have a right to freedom of expression in America now? <clears throat> because it seems like to me, <clears throat> the only religion that's not tolerated is true Christianity. You can you can you can celebrate Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists. Everybody can celebrate. Even the gay rights people, they can wear their shirts anywhere they want to. Because the LGBTQ, that's a religion. Abortion rights, folks, that's a religion. Climate change, that's a religion. But that was this man who was in the, a mall down in Minnesota. And his front of his shirt says, Jesus saves. The back of his shirt says, Jesus is the only way, which is true. But it looks like some Muslims inside the mall. See, I get so sick of these. Either these Christians or these people who say they're not religious. And every time I do a video like this, they got to tell me how they got a nice Muslim friend. Guess what? I don't give a damn. I don't care. I get so sick of everybody acting as if these people are peaceful. I never hear these same people advocating tolerance towards Christians, but they always want to tell me, you're barking up the wrong tree now. I'm not the one. Shop here. You need to take that shirt off. What is wrong with What is the problem with <laughs> Again, sir, it is religious soliciting. There is no soliciting allowed on law property, which is private property. Okay? So, again, we've got yes and no talks. No, 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 no. Exactly. What, what is wrong with you? Take it off the shop, man. That's all we want. Oh, thank you, Tyler. Oh, you. No, I, I'm a citizen. I know the Constitution. But you were last time, the last time I was here, they told me to leave for 24 hours. I did. Yes. That day, I was preaching. Yeah, I was preaching the gospel that day. Yeah. You're, you're still soliciting. And again, I'm walking. Yes. yes, you're walking wearing that shirt in the form of soliciting. And we can guess we're not saying that they've been offended by your shirt. Who said that? We've had guests come up and say you can offend it. So, like this gentleman just said too, take the shirt off and you can go shopping. That's as simple. Sorry, we're thinking. Thinking. Clear. And I don't want to do that. What did I do? See, I don't try to force my religion on anybody else, but I damn sure don't want anybody else forcing their religion on me. So here you have, because technically the Somalians, the Muslim Somalians, have taken over Minnesota. And now we we see that they're not very tolerant. Because you probably can go in this mall with any other kind of shirt on. Because it looks like some Muslims went and told the, the, the security guards that this fella is offending us. They said, what did he do? He didn't say anything. He's wearing a shirt. It says Jesus save in the back of his shirt. It says Jesus is the only way. Now they're offended for this. See, I wouldn't care if a Muslim wears something because you can't convince me anyway. See, this is only whenever somebody doesn't want you speaking, whenever somebody doesn't want you to be able to express yourself, it means that they're not their confidence in their so called truth or facts. They want you to tolerate everything else but Christianity, technically speaking. So they asked him to leave the mall or take his shirt off. Now think about, this is what Jesus was talking about when he said they will put you out of the synagogues and the time is coming, whoever kills you will think that they that he offers God service. In other words, this is taught in many countries, probably taught right over here too, that the Muslims think killing you, you the infidel, is a good thing, but nobody brings this up. As soon as a Christian hurts somebody's feelings, everybody gets on the news talking about it. Muslims say uh, that they want to kill a homosexual or they want to do harm. I'm not saying all of them do, but I don't care. You can, you defend them. I'm not a defender of them. I'm a defender of Christianity. But what gets me is that they're able to say all the things they're against. And nobody ever criticizes them. But whenever a Christian comes out and says they're standing for something, it don't even have to be offensive. 
I, I played a video the other day when I told you the Muslim was talking about saying Merry Christmas is the same as murder. And nobody really was that offended about it. But a Christian saying is that they're against homosexuality, they're against abortion, they're, 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 they're against criminal activities. They, there's a certain standards with God. They're offended. This is why they was offended by that shirt. Have you noticed that they don't get offended by the LGBT probably can walk in there climbing to any other thing, Muslim, Hindu, Buddha, whatever, probably can walk in their mall, they wouldn't be offended. See, just like they were trying to stop you from talking about Hunter Biden's laptop because it was true, just like they wanted you to convince you on uh, the lockdown and everything else because you were spreading the truth. The reason they don't want you having a shirt that says Jesus saved and Jesus is the only way because it's true. They don't care about a lie. They care about truth. Truth is what they try to outlaw. This is why Jesus says, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his, his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they have, if they, if, if they had kept my saying, they would have kept yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. That's the problem is they don't know God. And see, this is why it's so offensive to them. How many times do you see Christians going in a public place telling people you gotta leave because they ain't seeing anything? See, sometimes Christians are just too tolerant. They, that's, that's why we have all the filth over here now, because they're so tolerant that they allow just about anything, which they shouldn't allow all this garbage. And see, they'll ban a person like me, or they'll kick me off for saying factual statements, but they'll leave the most perverted or hateful things left on the Internet. So this man is not allowed to walk in a store with a shirt on that says Jesus saved, technically speaking, because the Muslims run their town. That's the problem is they come over to our country. They leave their Muslim countries and come over here and wants to be amongst the infidel. You're from Somalia. Take Omar and y'all go back to Somalia. If you don't like the rules over here, why come to an, an infidel land? But you know why? Because they're saying that their country is trash. Go back to your country. Then you can celebrate and you can have uh, prayer calls and everything else. Don't worry because I'm never visiting Somalia. But they want to tell you what you can and cannot do in your country. Every time they come over here, they want to indoctrinate you in, in our country instead of staying in their country. They don't want to stay in their country. See, in their country, they know that the country is trash. They know that, that their country, they don't have certain rights. Women don't have rights. Nobody has rights. Then they want to come over here. And try to force their agenda on us. All you got to do is go back to your country. You ain't got to worry because I'm never visiting some. There's some countries I will never visit. Not for all the tea in China. But they want us to be tolerant of them. They come to your country. It's like somebody visiting your house. So I'm going to rearrange your furniture. I'm going to take down your blind. I'm going to take the pictures off the wall because they're offensive to me. This is not your house. This is not your country then. And if you can't. Uh, adapt to the ways of this country. Go back to where you came from. Everybody always talking about tolerance, but they never want to tolerate tolerate Christians. Is always tolerate someone else, somebody else's agenda. This is why I don't believe this whole tolerance stuff. Whenever I hear somebody talking about tolerance, it's usually a coward that's supposed to be on our side, or it's got these non-tolerant people who's always screaming the loudest but they're never tolerant of you.